This is planet Earth, the third planet from the sun. It's where we live. That's right, Marco. Luckily for us, planet Earth has everything we need, like water, plants, and animals. The Earth is the only one of the eight planets in our solar system that has enough water and enough air for us to breathe. But why? All other planets are either too close to the sun. For example, Mercury is... Too hot? True. Or they are too far away. So Jupiter is... Too cold. And too gassy for life on Earth. So our planet Earth is in just the right place. Yes. It's the third planet orbiting our own star, the sun. <gasps> Air. And water. Thanks, planet Earth. Let's write Earth. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. If you look at our solar system, you can see eight planets orbiting the sun. They look like spinning... You, Chester. There's our Earth. Oh, yeah. And the planet nearest to the sun is Mercury. Correct. It's the smallest of the planets. Chester, do you know how many days there are in an Earth year? I do. About 365. Yes. That's the time it takes for the Earth to go round the Sun. Oh, Mercury goes round quicker. Well noticed. That's because its path around the Sun is much shorter. It only takes 88 Earth days for Mercury to orbit the Sun. Whoa. <laughs> I guess we should have a Mercury New Year's party every 88 days then. Party time! Get ready to... The Milky Way. The Milky Way is one of the billions of galaxies in the universe. Willow, did you know that we live in the Milky Way? Huh? I thought we lived on Earth. We... Earth is part of the galaxy called the Milky Way. So the Earth is part of our Sun's solar system, and our Sun is one of the stars in the Milky Way? Our Sun is one of over 200 billion stars in the dusty, gassy Milky Way. Two hundred billion? This is what the Milky Way looks like. It looks flat. The Milky Way is called a spiral galaxy. It looks like a flat spinning pinwheel, doesn't it? <laughs> Scientists know that thousands of those stars have planets orbiting them, just as our planet Earth orbits our sun. So the Milky Way is full of billions of stars and us! Ha! Huh. We are all part of the biggest spinning pinwheel ever! Let's spell! Galaxy G G G A A A A X X A Y Y Y Y uh, uh. L Galaxy 
Half the planets in our solar system have rings around them. What are you doing, Gorby? I'm playing planets. I'm pretending to be Saturn. See? Saturn's got rings around it, and I'm wearing my rubber ring. Saturn has the largest group of rings. What are the rings made of? Mostly dust and rock. Like Saturn, Jupiter is made of gas. Jupiter's got rings too! Uranus has 13 rings that run vertically from top to bottom, rather than across from side to side like the other planets. Neptune is an ice giant and has six rings. Hey, I just realized. The gas and the ice planets in our solar system are the ones that also have rings. Nash wants to play planets now. Come on, Nash. You can be Jupiter with your rubber rings, and I'll be Saturn with mine. Oh, wow! Beep! Feeding time. International Space Station. The International Space Station circles the Earth 16 times a day. Whoa, it's huge! It's actually the largest satellite ever sent into space. Better than a jumbo jet. How did it get there? Rockets took it into space, piece by piece. And then, it was put together like a big space jigsaw! Exactly! That must have taken ages! Luckily, Canada, the United States, Russia, Japan, the UK, and lots of other countries worked together to help build it. Great teamwork! But what did they use the International Space Station for? Scientists do special experiments there, which they can't do on Earth. And that helps them learn new things! I'd love to do experiments in outer space. Fun! <laughs>